Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Sheep Quest minigame. This is a really fun minigame that you can add to your server where the goal is to collect as many sheep as you can and return them back to your base. So you can see I'm playing an example game here just on my own with my other account and all of the sheep spawn in the middle, that's where I set the spawn point. You can see there are four teams, each different colours and then obviously you can attack each player if they're carrying sheep and then you have to defend your base from the other teams. It's a pretty fast paced fun mini game, um, I'm enjoying it, it looks pretty fun and I imagine if you had loads of players on it would be an absolute blast. So we are going to jump into how to set it up and how to configure it. So the first thing we want to do is the 4 slash sq admin command, that's going to show us all of the commands we need to create the arena. And obviously first of all we need to create it by doing sq create and then calling it something i'm going to just use the number two so this is arena two and if we go to the lobby area this is where we need to set two locations so if we do sq set main lobby for arena two and then sq set waiting lobby for arena two as well once we've done that we can jump into the main arena and set a few different things so if we do sq set min players uh, for arena two to two people and then we can set max players for arena 2 to 4 or 8. So next I'm going to set the sheep spawn point. So I've just got an area here. You can obviously make a much better arena than this. But if you do SQ set sheep spawn for arena 2, that will set the location. And then what we can do is go to each team spawn point. So I've just set a bit of wall on the ground and do SQ set spawn 2 for the team yellow. Then we can go ahead and do it for team red team green and then team blue so now that we've set all four teams we can go ahead and set the pens for the sheep so if you do sq wand that will give you a wand and what you want to do is select the bottom left hand corner and the top right hand corner of the sheep pens and what you want to do is sq set team arena two and blue then we're going to repeat this for the other three teams so just do a small pen like this uh, maybe only four blocks wide and then just uh, set it using the wand. You can see I'm selecting slightly out of bounds just so the whole area is covered. And that is how you would set a sheep pen. Now once we've done that, we can go ahead and do forward slash SQ setup menu. What this is gonna do is bring up a GY and make sure you select the arena. And this is gonna show you all the different parts and make sure it says set. You can also delete the arena this way. And if you're happy with that, click check arena and then it's going to check in chat that everything is set. All we need to do now is create a sign by doing brackets sheep quest bracket and then the arena name on the second line it's currently inactive so if you do sq active 2 and then make sure you put true at the end that is going to activate it it will go green and then you can go ahead and right click to join once you're in the lobby you can right click the chest and choose a team so you can be like yellow team green team or just a random team and then obviously my other account can do the same. Then it's gonna count down for 40 seconds and then it will throw us into a game. So here we are in game again. As you can see, I've got a sword and then when I'm holding out the saddle, it allows sheep to jump on my head. If I switch back to the sword, it's gonna drop the sheep and that is pretty much how it works. You've just gotta carry the sheep to your sheep pen and drop them off and then you're going to get points for that. The bonus sheep is worth three points, so three times a normal sheep and then obviously you have to defend it from the other players. So overall, it's a really fun mini game. It's updated from 1.16, so it works on the latest version. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll leave the download links below as well. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.